Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And dear cadets, uh, today I am here with you with a beautiful poem uh, that is written by John Milton, a famous uh, English poet and belonging to uh, age, classical age. He is also known as the great classical poet of his times. And the, uh, let me tell you one thing more, that the famous work or the renowned work by which he is known uh, is Paradise Lost. And it was published in the year 1667 because the Milton also belonged to the age of 17th, 17th century or the classical age. Now let me uh, let's come uh, coming come to the topic that we are going to read today, and that is uh, lines from Samson Agonist. So this is not the complete poem that is included in your syllabus. The only uh, small portion or the last lines or the last scene of uh, which depicts that how the poem is poem ends. And this is included into your syllabus. And uh, one thing more, this is uh, this is a story of this poem is taken from the Bible. This has got the religious theme. This is the story of one brave hero, Samson, who sacrificed his life for the cause of his nation. Not only uh, uh, in this way he killed himself and brought the destruction upon himself, but he killed all his enemies who were who were enemies of his, who were foes or enemies, opponent of his race. In this way, he protected, saved his nation, saved his community, and sacrificed his own life. Uh, and uh, it is also said, it is also written in the story of the in this story and this poem. Okay, Samson was a brave person, and he was a man of immense power, immense strength, huge strength, and all his strength lied uh, in his in his uh, that was lying in his hair. And a treachery or a plot conspiracy was made against him. And he belonged to the race of the Israelites, and and his, his opponents were the people of the Palestines. They sent a girl, and uh, that girl married with, with the Samson agonist. And Samson agonist uh, was uh, asked by his own wife, K, "What is the secret of his immense power? How he has become so powerful that his enemies are opponent? They are not able to kill him." Um, are able to defeat him and he told all this secret rain after revelation of that secret uh, his wife told that to his opponents and uh, they came to know for the first time that all his secret lies in his hair and once when he was sleeping his hair were tied by his own wife and he was captured or made captive uh, by his opponents and they made him with the first of the task they did they cut all his hair and they made him blind so after being blind, he was at the mercy of his enemies. So uh, they brought him with themselves. And uh, once they arranged a party, a beautiful party, they arranged from a far which they called the elite class or the upper aristocratic class of their community all from all around the country. They gathered in their uh, worshiping place or the temple where Samson was also brought, they brought there and they, were, they started to enjoy the party. Now they wanted to in this in that period the hair of once again the hair of uh, Samson grew stronger, or uh, uh, they grew, and because of that Samson had got the same strength that he had in the past. But now as he was blind, so he couldn't do anything himself. He had no option of running away or escaping from the scene. So they asked him to perform different tricks in order to show they wanted to enjoy. Uh, uh, the, the every moment of this that how he was performing the great tricks of his, his bravery. So this is the uh, last scene of that how the Samson uh, ended his life and he brought the calamity upon his enemies as well. Uh, the, this is the picture there's it shows that after during that performance uh, once he requested his guide the person who was telling him that what kind of the tricks he had to perform he requested his guide to, to, to attack him there where the pillars were actually the building of the temple was the arch roof building means it was circulated as a, a circular sort of the roof it had and it was supported by two pillars which were present right in the middle of that building so he requested his guy to take take him there in that in that place where those pillars were so his guide had no doubt in him okay, what the what a blind man can do so he led him there so once he felt okay, when the power when those pillars came in his grip he started to shake them and in the result of that, those pillars came down and with great power, not only he, uh, he took those pillars out, but 
the roof of that building came down and all those enemies of him which were assembled there not only they were killed but samson himself he was also killed in that and that fashion so he ended his life and he saved his community from his opponent from his enemies now let's read this poem and it uh, uh, keep your and you keep this in your mind that this poem was written in 1671 now this is the extent <clears throat> this is the extent of this poem these lines uh, first of all a brief introduction of this these lines from melton agris great poet poetic drama it's a great poetic drama describe the death of its hero samson he was a man of immense strength immense means huge huge power he was a man of huge power but he had been taken captive captive means prisoner through the treachery of his wife treachery means conspiracy a kind of plot sadish by the plestines the deadly enemies of his race i told you earlier that they, they were the fatal or the deadly uh, strong opponent or enemies of his race they wanted to eliminate the entire race of him and uh, as as this passage the palestine uh, the palestine leaders as this passage describes he saved his people by using his strength to kill the palestine leaders but in bringing down the roof of a great temple upon the heads of assembled there he sacrificed his own life at the same time so in this way not only he killed his enemies but he sacrificed he laid down his own life also so now this is the text uh, these are the final ending lines which are composed by the john milton now john milton says he depicts the picture that what what was the condition who was the scene now look at this how he passion passion means ki uh having no objection at all uh, he was at the mercy as he was the, at the mercy of his enemies so he was not doing anything he patient but undaunted undaunted means fearless having no fear in his mind he was doing nothing but whatever the command was given or imposed upon him but he was fearless where they led him means where he was taken by his enemies came to the place and what was said before him ab now now what happened ki he was he was taken to that place in that temple where his enemies gathered they assembled to enjoy or rejoice those moments and the things were said before him there were different things which uh, uh, which carried certain activities which were to be performed by the samson agoris which without help of i might be assayed assayed means attempted means that as he had no eyesight he couldn't see himself anything and only the guide was there he was ordering he was guiding him that what he had to do so things were set settled or things were kept in arranged in a way that without eyesight he could see he could uh, guess and he could perform all those things there were different kind of tactics like to heave pull draw or break to heave means to lift to lift means to carry something from the surface of earth to pull draw or break these were the three or four things are which are to which are mentioned here which were to be uh, done by him but he still performed means he performed all those tricks silently all with incredible stupendous force incredible means unbelievable stupendous means wandering means he performed all the things and with the power with the force which was that which was wandering which can put one into wonder or, or amazement incredible means which is unbelievable even not could none of them could uh, oppose him none daring to appear antagonist antagonist means opponent not even a single person had uh, had now any doubt in his mind ke this is not a real one but all they started to believe in his great power at length for intermission take sake they led him intermission means interval now as the time progressed at time time came forward now in time for intermission time for interval came and he requested his guide between the pillars his guide requested now we asked this uh, guide the person who was guiding him who was telling him who was give, passing him the instruction he requested him that let me uh, uh, get there where the pillars are now poet himself is saying far so uh, from such as nearest is to be heard we were standing so closer to him that we heard what he was saying as over tired over tired means tired very much very tired fatigue or exhausted to let him lean a while lean means to take support of something he wanted to take support of something that's why he this is the this is an excuse that he made to his guide that i wanted i want to take rest i want to take support of something so please get me there where the pillars are now in that way he convinced him with both his arms on those two massive pillars massive means 
those two massive pillars massive means huge these pillars were of huge size when he felt that both these uh, pillars are in my arms that to the arch roof gave me support the roof of that building now it is supported by uh, that arch roof that is supported by those two pillars he is unsuspicious led him unsuspicious means having no doubt now what <clears throat> this is the point to think here what a blind man can do so definitely one cannot have any doubt in his mind so guide had no doubt in his mind that so with the so when, which when samson felt in his arms now samson when he felt that now pillars are in my arm with a head with head a while inclined inclined means bent now still his head is down and and eyes fast fixed now his eye, eyes it these were uh, these were seeming to be looking at something directly without moving here and there he stood as one who prayed he was looking to be that the person like who is praying or who is doing worship or some great matter in his mind revolved revolved means ke something is there that is roaming in his mind or he is absorbed in some deep thinking or meditation now this is the great this is the look that people get, people got at lost with head erect the cried aloud now all kind of he broke his silence and started to shout started to cry and he raised his head now hitherto lords what your commands imposed hitherto means <clears throat> until now at this moment until this moment my my, uh, my lords means my masters what kind of the commands you imposed imposed means implemented ordered i have performed as reason was obeying means this was logical being blind men i had no other option but to obey you because of this i obeyed you not wonder without wonder or delight beheld beheld is the second form of behold means i watched those i watched those not with delight i did this not with delight not with any kind of wonder but it was according to my reason according to the reason now of my own accord accord means wish now i am doing this thing at my own wish now this is the new thing that i am going to perform but not according to your order but according to my will such other trial trial means to attempt or an experiment that i am going to make <clears throat> i mean to show you of my strength yet greater the strength that i have shown you until now that is not so greater as i am going to show it to you now now he is uh, now putting them trying to put them into amazement as with amaze shall strike all who behold and he said ke those behold means those who are watching all you people those who are watching you will be in wonder while seeing this my greater strength or greater power that i am going to show you now now this uttered uttered means to say straining all his nerves strain means to put force apply force he he started to put all his force over his nerve and in that way he bowed bowed means he bent down he he went down as with the force of winds and water spent pants means confined a kind of a sound a kind of a force that he applied it produces sound as if when the water and wind is compra- is uh, enclosed in somewhere where the boundaries are now you can imagine for the moment then the sea water or something of heavy water or the wind that is uh, enclosed somewhere how what kind of a sound it produces this is the same condition this is pant means confined or limited as the wind and water is confined somewhere it is limited somewhere the same sort of the pressure is produced by the uh, samson nagnes when mountains tremble tremble means shiver as the mountains are trembling they are shivering pahad ya chatane ka prai hai those two massive pillars with horrible convulsion <coughs> to and fro and to and fro moment is as a moment like the pendulum like is it it goes forward and comes back with horrible horrible means a fearful sort of the convulsion a sudden violent movement a movement that takes place uh, in those two massive pillars because of the heavy force that is applied by samson he tug tug means pulled he shook shook is the second form of shake till down they came and drew drew is the second form of draw means ke he pulled he he shook and he he drew those pillars means ke he he tried to get those out of their place the whole roof after them with a burst of thunder it looked as if 
the thunder of the storm had occurred and a, a large exp explosion occurred upon the heads of all who sat beneath means those people who were sitting under their roof all lords ladies captains counselor or priests means the people were from the different classes all elite classes they were lords they were ladies they were captains they were counselors they were priests means ke uh, a selected class of the people they were choice nobility means they all they belong to the higher class but not uh, not only they were of the higher class but they were the chosen people and the flower the cream of that country not only of this but each palestine city around not only they were from the same city but they were called they were invited to celebrate that party made from all parts to solemnize this feast they gathered there solemnize means to celebrate feast means party they came there in order to rejoice in order to celebrate that party samson with these in mixed inevitably samson be with these in mixed means being among them he was not out of them he was standing in the middle of them inevitably inevitably means unavoid unavoidably which cannot be avoided pull down the same destruction on himself he brought the destruction he brought the calamity he brought the death not only upon the enemies of him but also upon himself in that way he sacrificed his life for the cause of his nation so this is the end of uh, this poem and i hope you have enjoyed it thank you very much